In this movie, we're going to look at regular expressions in a little more detail. We can test our hello string against a regular expression that will test for, first of all, the letter H locked to the beginning of the string. And then instead of specifying either a specific character or the wildcard symbol, the dot, which could test anything at all, we're going to specify a certain set of characters within square brackets of which it can find any of them. So in this case, E and L, and we're going to use the plus sign, which we, means one or more of those characters. Finally, an O at the end of the string is what it's going to look for. As we can see, this one evaluates true, and it would do so as well if we put in a whole lot more E's and L's in any combination at all. And even if we brought it down to just one L, it would also evaluate true. However, if we took that one L out, because we've used the plus sign, which in this case represents one or more, the expression evaluates false. If we use the asterisk, which outside of a regular expression means multiply, inside a regular expression it means something quite different. Inside a regular expression, the asterisk means that the preceding character or character set, such as a wildcard or such as this specific set of characters, EL, that it's going to look for, we can have zero or more of those rather than one or more. So this will match HO successfully. If we wish to specify a specific number of letters that is going to come within the between H and O, let's say we have three there, then we can specify it by using in curly brackets the number three. So we can use whatever combination of E's and L's as long as there are three characters that fall between the H and the O. And also specify a range of characters also using the curly brackets. We can just use a comma. This will specify, say, between three and five. So if we put another one in there, now we've got four characters falling between that which falls between three and five characters and they're all E's or L's. So that will evaluate true. Whereas if we took some out and we only had two characters, that would evaluate false. Similarly, if we exceeded five, even if they're all E's and L's, that would also evaluate false. One thing that we can do in order to test for simply any combination of alphabetical characters would be to type in in between the square brackets and the symbols that we use to lock the regular expression to the beginning and end of the string would be to write out every letter in the alphabet in turn. However, this would be a very uneconomical way to express what is quite a simple concept, only letters. So instead of that, we can use a range, which is to use a hyphen between the letters that we want to specify. In this case, A all the way through to Z. And this has evaluated false because we haven't put in a plus operator to specify that we want more than one, or rather I should say one or more. Now it evaluates true. If we wish to specify that we can include numbers, we're going to have to write something different in terms of this regular expression. If we put just a single five in there amongst the letters, then that completely throws out this particular pattern match and the expression evaluates false. 
So if we wanted to add numbers to the equation, we'd have to put in another range, in this case 0 to 9. That way the expression would evaluate true. We're still not including symbols though, so if I put a, a bracket, say, into the string that we're matching against the regular expression, then we get a false Boolean response. One more symbol that you need to be aware of, we've already looked at this symbol at the beginning of the regular expression, and what that does is to lock the regular expression to the beginning of the string, as we found earlier. However, when we use it within the square brackets, it does something quite different. Essentially what we're saying by this regular expression is we're matching any letter or character or symbol of any kind apart from the letter M. So within the square brackets this symbol does something quite different. It tells MySQL to look for any character apart from the characters that follow it. So this evaluates true. If we put an M in, it will evaluate false. So these are the basics of using regular expressions. As I said before in the last movie, regular expressions are quite a complex subject in themselves and may take a little time to digest.